What is happening, bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant, bringing you three new updates from Storm Bowling. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but we are back at it, and I gotta tell you, really excited about these three new updates from Storm. Unconfirmed as stateside, but we're gonna cover them anyways. Let's take a look at them now. Front and center, this Axiom Pro looking like a boss. Followed by the Mega Lock on the upper left, and on the upper right, the IQ Tour Ruby. Woo, three stunning updates, and I guarantee you my friends and the Storm crowd are all starting to drool because we all want to get our hands on one of these. Of course, the secret sauce is always in the specs, so let's jump into that. Here we go, Axiom Pro. This ball has the R4S hybrid reactive cover stock. It's got the orbital core. Comes at a finish of 4,000 grit Avalon. Smells like pumpkin pie. Moving on, and the number's at 15 pounds, 2.48 RG, and an 050 differential. So this is what I would classify as your benchmark hybrid. It's a lot like a benchmark solid, except it's a sanded hybrid. Uh, we'll probably pick up just a hair later than, than a solid wood with surface and a little bit sharper of an arc, but it's the first ball out of your bag to tell you if you're gonna ball up or ball down. So R4S, you know, that's a strong reactor-based cover, so stronger than R2S or R3S. 4,000 grit, you've got plenty of surface to help you pick it up in some regular oil conditions. Basically, pick your favorite layout and you're off into the races. Shouldn't have a problem, and you're probably gonna wanna get one if you can get one because it looks fantastic. All right, let's go. IQ Tour Ruby. This one has the R2S reactive cover stock, C3 centripetal core, 1500 grit polished. It smells like Berry Splash. Hey, now we're talking. I like, I like smell, smell that probably sounds, smells fantastic. Um, okay, 2.49 RG with a 0.029 differential. So there is not much news here. This is yet another IQ variant. We've seen plenty of them. This is no exception. The only difference really is the color. And that's not a bad thing. This red looks amazing. I wish I had one of these stateside. But if you've got a comment about whether, you know, color impacts ball motion, drop it in the comment section. I'd love to talk to you about it because half the crowd feels like it does and half the crowd feels like it doesn't. And sometimes I like listening to both sides of the story. Okay, the next and final piece of this story is the Mega Lock. This ball has the NRG hybrid reactive cover stock. It's got the red X core. Comes at a finish of 3000 grit Avalon. And smells like cherry. Well, that probably smells pretty nice. And the number's at 15 pounds, 2.48 RG with a 0.054 differential to 0.018 asymmetric differential. So let's talk about this. This is a, an asymmetric hybrid. This is something that would be a step up from a benchmark hybrid. Uh, going back into the specs, so our uh, NRG hybrid, this is Nano. Nano has certain properties. There's a specific motion with Nano, and also it blends wet dry very, very well. Sometimes you just got to keep up on the uh, cover maintenance, you know, keep it scuffed. Uh, let's see, 3000 grit airball, plenty of surface. Again, probably want to keep it scuffed, unless if you plan on polishing it, then you don't have the problem. But other than that, everyone knows what this lock is about. This Rad X core is fantastic, and it should hit pretty hard. Let's circle back to the shelf appeal. This Axiom Pro looks amazing. Even I feel like Storm has outdone themselves with this one. I love this pour. It looks just outstanding. And I could just see as this ball starts to migrate its axis what it would look like down the lane. And it's going to be very easy to read as it goes through all three phases of ball motion. The Mega Lock is no slouch. It's not looking as quite as good as this Axiom Pro, but there is plenty of contrast between the pour and the lettering. And the IQ Tour Ruby, that's a classic IQ. You can't go wrong. That look is always good. And the contrast between the yellow and the red looks fantastic. Okay, so these are not stateside balls yet and probably won't be. I'm keeping an eye on that Axiom Pro though. So that one's the one I'm really thinking about. Just wondering, sometimes Storm and Road Grip put stuff overseas before it comes here. You never know. But as of right now, it's stateside. If you are in the crowd that must have these right now, head over to Facebook. There are plenty of uh, trader groups you can go over there and see who's got stock. Just don't be surprised if someone says it's going to be $300 or more shipped because that is the law of supply and demand. So if you were interested in learning more about these bowling balls and any news developments about them, I've got some links in the description where you can find updates on them on bowlersmart.com. That's what we've got for today. What do you think of this stuff? Do you like the IQ2 Ruby? What about the Mega Lock? Or how about that Axiom Pro? And if you were to get one, what layout would you go with? Drop me a comment, let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, bow well.